glad to be slightly about being pulled. My name is Luca Galassa, and um, I'm here to basically confirm everything that uh, the specialists at the Ainsdale Pain Clinic have been telling me today. So, as a, as a brief start, um, this was, uh, this was me for my childhood. It was uh, the loosest possible term of normal. Um, it was very enjoyable and it was quite, you know, exciting. I was going on adventures. And then um, my adolescence hit. And one morning, I woke up in bed. My body bolted upright and I started spasming. I couldn't breathe. My lips were going blue. And I honestly thought I was going to die. I thought, yeah, I've had a good run. I was only about. 12, 13. <laughs> and, and so we, I was rushed into hospital where, um, where my journey really began. I had many, many specialists over many, many years uh, try and explain what was going on. And the one common occurrence that they kept saying to me is, I am a medical mystery. They, can, they have been looking at, they've looked at uh, my bone structure, my my muscles, my uh, genealogy. They even scanned my brain. It is actually there. It's real, uh, counter to certain people's opinions, Kev. <laughs> and, and yet again, despite this scan, they couldn't find anything wrong. Seemingly, biochemically, I am the epitome of health. Yet, my body says otherwise. And so I was getting into a rut because I was turning 16 at this point, and all the hay, for all it's good that it does, well, you're not a child anymore. And if it wasn't for one brilliant um, physiotherapist and one brilliant doctor who she was in contact with, I would never have been referred to the Ainsdale Pain Service. And that's where things started to change. Because when I was with them, they started listening to me. They didn't just try and put my symptoms into a box and say, this is this, this is this. No, we will possibly never know what caused my uh, this, what we can figure out the best way to have a more suitable life. One of the things I felt was I was alone. Because as a young person, you're not meant to experience pain. You're not meant to do all these things. You're not meant to sit in a room crying yourself to sleep at night because you don't know how to exist anymore. And through badgering Chris for a year or so, we had a, um, a young person's meeting. I can assure you their faces have been blacked out for legal reasons, but they are young people. <laughs> and through them, we discussed things that meant stuff to us. Yes, we have commonality, and that is pain. We can survive together. We even came here for a hydro session, and it was the best thing, because it didn't feel like people having a scheduled uh, session. It felt like a bunch of mates um, going to a swimming pool. And that's where things started to change. We started redefining what it meant to us. And one of our big redefines was the word fine. People were getting ignored. But you don't, when people ask you how you're doing, you say fine because you don't want to bore them with what I've just told you now. You say, oh, you know, I'm fine today. I've had a, you know, when in actuality, you're screaming inside that you're wanting, you're wanting to pull yourself apart because what is happening to my body? But no, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, it's been a bit of a bad day, but we're all okay, it's fine. So I hope you all take this on. Fine, freaked out, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. It, it, it fixes everything, and it became our little joke. We started, and from there we went on. It was, we redefined achievements. I woke up that morning, I got out of bed, that's an achievement. I came out to the pain clinic, that is an achievement. I'm here tonight speaking to all of you, an achievement. And with Becky, we have started calling these marvelous moments, Mowgli moments, because it's like in the Jungle Book. When you're slowly going back towards normality, it's scary, but you, and you want to stay in the comfort of the jungle. But you know you've got to get back to that human village. And that's what we did. And through working out with Becky, I found out what meant, what was, what was meaningful to me. I missed hugging people. Because every time I had to hug people when I was in the chair, they had to crane and it was all awkward. So that's what we did. My challenge for the longest time was give a standing up hug every single day. And through Graham's brilliant <coughs> advice, it turned out that standing up and hugging someone really builds your muscles. And from then, I was able to get back to the things I love cooking, playing music, and gaming with my friends. Suddenly I was able to start having my life again, and it was brilliant. <laughs> Everything was slowly working, and we would keep having sessions with Becky and, and Graham, and strength after strength, it was like, as she says, pushing that one domino. If I hadn't have gone to this pain clinic, and they hadn't have told me that one new way of thinking, 
None of this would have been possible. And it's often that you need that doctor who has this new and ingenious method of thinking. And one of my proudest moments was because of building up this, I was able to make a trip of a lifetime. I went to the Doctor Who experience and I flew the TARDIS. Who gets to say that? <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. It was one of those moments where everything had led to this and it was truly joyous. And now with the pain clinic, I'm helping to give back by becoming their young person's volunteer because that's something that people don't realize. It doesn't matter about age. That She's, again, older lady. She's the other end of the pain clinic. She's the oldest, I'm the youngest. And it's, and it's brilliant. We, it doesn't matter about your, what, you, you know, what your age is. It doesn't matter what your background is, your social economic class. It doesn't matter at all. We all suffer pain. And we all understand each other on a fundamental level. When you come into Pain Clinic Plus of a morning, that's all left at the door and you have a great chat and you have a brilliant time. And through all this, the one thing that stuck with me is this. A life with pain is still a life. And you really can make the most of it. Thank you for listening.